Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold a resolve if you're getting an, a net error certificate authority and valid error connection is not private on Google Chrome. So assuming the SSL certificate is valid on the website and perhaps you're having an issue addressing this. And again, it's a safe website and you're trying to access it and it just seems to be an error. This tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go into the settings window in Windows just to see if we can reset our adapter settings. So in order to do that, just going to open up the start menu, type in network. Best match to come back with network status. I'm going to left click on that. Left click on where it says change adapter options on the right side. Now whatever adapter is listed in here, mine happens to be an Ethernet, you guys could have a Wi-Fi in there more than likely. Just want to left click on it one time, right click on it, and then left click on properties. Now you want to left click on the Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, and then left click on properties. So I would suggest if you're using some funky IP address, you try switching over to obtain an IP address automatically. However, if you are not able to get through and maybe you're still having a problem, you can try using Google's own DNS server, which is a safe server provided by Google. Some people actually have noticed that it's more secure and might be a little bit faster. So let's just say we wanted to do that. And you guys can go online and check it out for yourselves, but you guys can follow along with the numbers here. So preferred DNS server for Google would be eight. And then you're gonna move your left mouse clicker into the second section, type eight again. Third section, you wanna type eight and then another eight. So it should say 8.8.8.8 for the preferred DNS server. Don't actually type any dots, there already are already dots in here. You're just gonna have to click inside of each section as you go. And same protocol for the alternate DNS server, except it's 8.8. .8 dot four dot four exactly it appears on my screen here very important you type it in if you ever made a mistake you're always welcome to just go back to obtaining a DNS server address automatically and then once you're done with that left click on OK click on close and then I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully that should have addressed the problem now like I said earlier in the video there's a chance that the website is not secure and maybe you just don't want to visit it you want to reconsider it but this tutorial is if you're just running across this for any website, like you might be trying to go on google.com and you typed in the URL address correctly and you're running into this error, that means there might be something else going on and, and that is what this tutorial is about. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.